Welcome back to Crypto Insights Journal. Today is January 1st, 2021. Happy New Year. I'm your host, Jason, and in today's show, we look at the new Bitcoin ETF from investment firm FanEck. Bitcoin has flipped the market cap of Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway, and we look at FinCEN's requirement that U.S. citizens report offshore crypto holdings. That and Lunar Crush Coin of the Day is next on Crypto Insights Journal. Stay tuned. Start with the price of Bitcoin. Currently, Bitcoin is trading at $29,250.03. For January 1st, 2021, Bitcoin had a high of $29,688.88, with a low of $28,700. Which brings us to our first article from Decrypt, written by Tim Hackey, published December 31st, 2020. Bitcoin flips market cap of company run by Bitcoin hater Warren Buffett. Bitcoin briefly hit an all-time high last night, breaking past 29,000 to set a new all-time high of 29,321, just one night ahead of the new year. The bull run propelled the price up by 7.35% in the last 24 hours, a continuation of the momentum that has seen it rising by 24.76% in the last week alone. At the crest of this wave, Bitcoin's market cap the sum of its price multiplied by the total number of Bitcoin in circulation hit $544 billion, flipping the market cap of Class B shares in Berkshire Hathaway, which has a market cap of $538.8 billion. So, come on, Warren. Come on, Warren. In our next article from Decrypt, Van Echt has refiled its application for a Bitcoin ETF. Here's why. This was written by Jason Nelson and published December 31st, 2020. Investment firm Van Eck has refiled its submission for a Bitcoin exchange-traded fund with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, one year after it withdrew its previous application. Van Eck withdrew its last attempt at an ETF on September 17th, 2019, after several attempts were blocked by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC. The SEC has repeatedly blocked Bitcoin ETF submissions because it believes the Bitcoin market is prone to manipulation. So no ETFs for anyone. Let me give you an idea of what the SEC has been uh, going by. This was a September 2019 interview with CNBC. Former SEC Chairman Jay Clayton said, How do we know we can custody and have a hold of these crypto assets? Clayton continued. Given that they, cryptocurrency, trade on largely unregulated exchanges, how can we be sure those prices aren't subject to significant manipulation? So that's the mentality that the SEC has been working with this whole time. So we'll have to see if a new SEC chair, now that Clayton has resigned the position, will be more crypto Bitcoin friendly and allow the SEC to approve the ETF. We'll have to see. So this last article from Decrypt, was written by Stephen Graves and published January 1st, 2021. FinCEN plans to force Americans to report offshore crypto holdings. A proposed amendment to the Bank Secrecy Act, FBAR, filing requirements would require U.S. citizens to disclose overseas crypto holdings over $10,000. The Financial Crimes Enforcement Network, FinCEN, a bureau of the U.S. Treasury Department wants U.S. citizens to report if they hold more than $10,000 in cryptocurrencies with foreign digital currency service providers. Vincent Notice 2020-2, filed on Thursday, would amend the Bank Secrecy Act's Foreign Bank and Financial Accounts, FBAR, regulations. The notice reads, FinCEN intends to propose to amend the regulation implementing the Bank Secrecy Act, BSA regarding reports of foreign financial accounts, FBAR, to include virtual currencies as a type of reportable account. The rule change would bring FBAR rules around crypto in line with those applying to cash held by U.S. citizens outside of the U.S. Under the current regulations, the notice states a foreign account holding virtual currency is not reportable on the FBAR. The notice makes no mention of when the proposal is set to be implemented or what information crypto holders would be required to report, such as blockchain address. At present, individuals filing FBARs must provide the name of the account, the account number, the name and address of the foreign bank where the funds are held, 
and the type of account and the maximum value held during the year. So I'll link all of these articles in the description below this Vincent article you definitely want to have a look at. Finally, we're going to look at the Lunar Crush coin of the day. And the Lunar Crush coin of the day is Ocean Protocol O-C-E-A-N. Right now, the bullish sentiment on Ocean Protocol is up 1.8% and the Twitter volume is up 2.1%. Going over to the chart, Ocean is currently trading at 33 cent, had a high today of 36 cent and a low of 31 cent. I hope you have a very happy new year. Thank you for watching Crypto Insights Journal. If you enjoyed this episode, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.